Yo, 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 guys, what is up? Welcome back to another episode of Marijuana Sick Weekly. It's me and Dean back at you with some more canna content. And unfortunately, this week has been absolutely devastating uh news wise um for those that are watching from outside of south africa we've had a horrific bout of protest violence uh looting um political like civil unrest basically that's originated from uh people uh, uh our ex-president uh jacob zuma got arrested on sunday and put into prison uh, around about the weekend and obviously there was a bunch of unrest around that um so it's yeah i think a, propaganda and misinformation yeah. is fueled fueled by like a complete he- like a lack of service to delivery and, and a lot of like negative things in in a lot of communities mm. so there's obviously a lot of you know there's 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 a lot of unhappiness in the country anyway and mm. it was just like a ticking time bomb i think and yeah it's been so saddening to see um you know we're down in the cape we're not in kwazulu natal but we have lots of close friends and family up there you know there's been lots of heavy mm. uh, uh footage as well um so yeah it's something we've been feeling quite heavily and you know we've also had a massive support as from our business from that side on top of everything as well so you know this has been a really uh, it's a really tough time in south africa at the moment um i don't think you know i think we're feeling it countrywide i think the whole world's looking or hopefully looking uh, you know because there does need to be awareness about what's going what's going it's, on it's truly un- unbelievable i mean it's it's uh, they just said in like one specific Pro, like uh, like attack, um, you know, like mass uh, looting. I think that this is just one incident, one like small town. They destroyed 60 businesses, which uh, they say, you know, each business employed an average of four to five people, uh, which is 300 people, which feeds each person employed in South Africa feeds about six mouths, you know, so it's like 1,500 people that will now be literally be hungry. Um, there is no state welfare to to uh, come and support that, and and it's just mil- you know we're already struggling with the employment, so it's yeah, it comes in a tough time. You know, it's a COVID nineteen mm. tough time, uh, and then there's you know there's all these knock on effects which we aren't even feeling just yet. It's the it's the the smoke is settling uh, mm. barely. Uh, in some places and now it's I suppose now the real damages will be you know the surface damage has been done but there's going to be knock-on effects of people who have lost who have lost jobs um, you know massive amounts of different businesses destroyed I read online yesterday it's, uh, it's, uh, uh, 40 trucks averaging between one and three million each also destroyed so that's a you know <clears throat> massive 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 uh, yeah it's a disappointing time in south africa it's a scary time in south africa and it's you know it, it was all started by you know uh, i would say propaganda and misinformation relating to our mm. ex uh <laughs> ex president yeah uh, but president. you know in in the in in times of darkness is always you know it's it's <clears throat> it's always good to to look for some light and i have seen a lot mm. of rallying to uh, of of community and then also you know oh, hopefully yeah. hopefully business getting involved as well this, because like uh, andy said you know the, the government facebook stretched group. yeah there's been an awesome facebook group you know rebuild south africa there's yeah, been cleaning amazing. initiatives um so you know we've been it's <clears throat> it's uh, oh, it's an incredibly heavy time but it's also heartwarming to see how communities have pulled together during this time as well mm. and even though to be honest it's I mean, we do run a grow store, um, like, you know, probably Durban, Gauteng's at least half our customer base. So there is, uh, you know, knock on effects. We aren't affected as bad as businesses up there, but it's, you know, it spreads across the whole country. Um, You know, part of the, they literally, there's, there's, they can't get, you you wouldn't even shop online because there's no delivery trucks going because it's too dangerous. There's, yeah, there's no food in the shops. There's no bread. There's no eggs. Um, so petrol, cars are abandoned. Petrol. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's just people really, have, have been yeah. abandoning cars on the side of highways, you know, no petrol, like whole neighborhoods closed off. Nothing, literally nothing. Civilians no. arming themselves to like, it's, it's anarchy. You know, it's, yeah, it's, police it's, are stretched too thin. So, so uh, civilians. I've I've seen multiple videos of of literally like communities having to having to sort of you know protect their own. So it's been yeah, it's been a very it's been a very volatile time. 
Um, <laughs> oh my God. To say the least. Uh, guys, in South wait, Africa. <laughs> let's keep it positive. Um, there is initiatives. We are doing some. We're just about to go now and drop off some food uh, and some non perishables at the. Uh, it's on the R44. It's the bike. It's the bike shop. What's it called? The I think it's called the Bike Hanger Co. On the R44 yeah. at Stellenbosch Farm. It's been, it's been identified as one of the drop off points for mm. a food drive. And there's been a nationwide call for essential goods because yeah. of the way that the food supply has been affected. Because uh, essentially, this, uh, yeah, I mean, that's. A bunch of other, re yeah, like, you know, we do want to try to uh, use this time to at least identify, you know, how we can help, uh, you know, how you guys at home can help. And I think the yeah, main one would be obviously, yeah, food drop offs. If you're in Cape Town or Joburg, I know there's a bunch of trucks going that way. Uh, I suppose other ways of, of helping is probably a gift of the givers for donations. I know they, at least one um, verified legit recipient and they're on cash. the ground that side mm -hmm. i've already seen them doing good you know and then in the uh, I, I, and I, I don't think it's all just going to blow over so quickly you know there's going to be yeah there's going to there's going to be lasting damages um mm. so if you know we we wanting to build this we wanting to use the voice that we have that's been gifted by you know all of you who support us to help build awareness for something that we care about you know we know it's different uh talkings compared to what we usually do but mm. it is you know as you can see we've been affected uh you know and it's uh it's not a, it's not really something you can ignore um yeah, for sure. and if you are in a privileged position to be able to help this is the time which you you should you know this is one of the times which you should be yeah, so um, a lot of people on the gram are asking, okay, so what do you take? Um, for instance, we're going to be taking nappies, uh, toothpaste, soap, um, probably some, uh, maybe some like female products, uh, things like... Uh, rice, um, oats, uh, non-perishables. Formula for baby food, uh, like some oats, like non-perishable, like obviously these things are all getting trucked up. So it's like it might take... If, uh, for instance, our truck's leaving Monday, um, so it could only arrive there on like Wednesday. Wednesday. So uh, you don't want to be putting in like donuts and fresh bread, unfortunately. It's going to have to be like oats and crackers and, and things that don't get crushed easily. Um, and I mean, oh, that will make a massive difference. There's literally, you know, there's people struggling to get food and there's uh, a lot of initiatives have been set up in order to help distribute. So it mm -hmm. will make, uh, you know, even if you have little to give, it will make a big difference. Um, yeah. And, and in, in the grand it, scheme. Yeah, it's, it's not going to recover quickly. You know, they say this is shops could be empty for two weeks or so. It's, it's the disruption was... Uh, it, it's immeasurable you know it's it's like big logistic warehouses um spanning you know the the one warehouse value logistics it took them three days to loot the whole warehouse from yeah, the first looter crazy. that broke in to the last looter that left it was three days of thousands of people clearing it out imagine just like thousands of people how much stuff they had like a, hundreds you know, of thousands of goods millions yeah, of yeah, line items you millions know millions of yeah of, and, that, and i mean this was, is this is the largest food uh like that was the largest uh the largest uh food uh distribution warehouse in in the area i mm. think in the in the province i think so that's yeah, just yeah. the scale of you know the the level of scale that this this um this time has caught well of damage that this time has caused you know yeah um very scary stuff um so go do but, a yeah. go do a donation at a at a drop off point if you're in Cape Town I know Joburg's got lots of uh, donation points gift of the givers is a really really good one don't be sharing propaganda through this time um try to share some positive positivity um if you've got cash now's the time to to uh do it i mean there's a lot of people wait for oh you know I'll, uh, another time it will be more needed i don't think there's going to be a time as bad as as this to be needed and go join that facebook group rebuild sa um there's form on the thing um you can sign up to be a volunteer you can sign up to be a um a donor uh, you can sign up to be a just a maybe like if you make websites there's people like building websites if you do social media graphic design that, that you basically fill it in and there's a bunch of people that are allocating different tasks it's it's uh, it's quite incredible so 
kind of community, especially you guys are probably the main listeners. It's probably a time to step up. Yeah, uh, we, guys, we want to, you know, can, the, cannabis, the cannabis community cares mm. a lot. And that's what we've noticed. So we think that this call out and, you know, us putting in these efforts will be heard by people who actually care because, you know, those are the kinds of, uh, that's the kind of community we feel that mm. we're a part of. And, uh, you know, it, it's a very caring community and, you know, anyone who cares deeply for other people and their country, you know, it's uh, mm. South Africa. So, you know, it's not, it's, a, it's really is a time to, to stand up. All right, guys. Um, sorry, that was a bit of a morose episode, uh, but we do appreciate you guys listening and watching on YouTube. Uh, we do have an email subscriber in uh, like a subscribe email link in the, uh, below the video. Um, that just helps us communicate with you guys because YouTube's a bit strict with what links we can and can't post and this and that. So it, it, it helps us just communicate with you guys. And then, I mean, we, it's also just for like important communications like um, in times like this and obviously with regards to the grow store and whatnot. Anyway, um, thanks for listening. Make sure to like and subscribe and stay safe and lots of love. Peace, guys. Peace, guys.